Right. right guys, so we're back out today and we're out for another wild camp and we are heading up to Hers Gap. It, um, as you can see, it's pretty wide out. Um, first camp in the snow ever, so it's going to be quite unique. We are, we were meant to go down along and we didn't bother. We were like, screw it, we'll go up to Hers Gap. Granted, there's a weather warning out for tomorrow, but southeasterly winds, but hopefully we're with pitch, we'll, we'll not have to deal with that too much. Who we want? So, it, um, yeah, let's give it a cold night. Let's give it to like minus seven. So, good test for the gear of the night as well. Very good test. Um, but, yeah, I'll see you when we're on the trail anyway. So, making the progress, and it, you know what? The cold absolutely beats the living crap out of your lungs. I will say, hey, um, yeah, it does. It, it takes its toll on the lungs, like, but it's all worth it to get out for the night. You wonder what possesses people to go, do you know what, let's go and sleep in minus temperatures. That's going to be like a fun day. You wonder what puts it into people's heads, like, oh that class. I mean, I know no different. I've been doing this since I was a kid. And it... I'm doing this since I was a kid and it's... I love it. I love it. Making good progress. Jesus, I broke my neck. Making good progress before I near died. Um, just really hard to navigate. You know, like anyone that's been up here going towards Hurst Gap will know the path you're really meant to take. You know, you know your track you're walking. This, it's such it's impossible to tell where you are. I say, like, this is my first time being out in the snow up here. And of all the fucking years I've been camping and all. And it's different cattle of fish. So it is up here. Very different. But I'll keep moving on and I'm gonna stop for a minute and bring these back. But I mean it's unreal. It's gonna be a cold night. Right, we're on Trassy track now, so making good progress now. Not belong to Robert Hurst Gap. Um, Robert Hurst Gap, I fill in. In what decided us, right, made us take this route instead of down Long Valley.
where I camp. It's a bit below eight this side, but that's the change the night. So there's big snow drifts. So we're trying to figure out where to camp, where to pitch. Just because we've never actually camped in snow this deep. So we're just trying to see where is the best ideal spot. So bring his back when I'm sort of made that fucking executive decision. Right, I have somewhat a spot dug out here. I'm hoping it holds the fort for the night. It's pretty solid, like. So we're set up and it was a cold one. Um but we're set up. I'm in my sleeping bag because my feet are freezing. I'm just trying to warm them up and then I take yes a week quick down to around camp. Do you see it? But as you can see in that video that time lapse before, I was sort of struggling to get the tent up. Could not get the pegs in and stuff, and then my hands were freezing and whatnot, but all in the joy of it all. But yeah, don't know if I'm getting the drone up, so I don't. The gusts are a bit, they're a bit wild, and tomorrow is to be heavy sleet and snow up here and raining, and pretty strong winds. But hoping these are north. So the winds we're feeling now, they have to die off. And then tomorrow is south, so I'm hoping the wall protects us a bit. So I am. Um, but, yeah, just trying to warm up and... It, um, it's not a bad looking view. Just out. But I'm bringing you back when I'm... Out of the tent and show you around camp. Just want to try and get warmed up a bit because it is cold. So I'm back into the tent, went for a walk there, and screw that, it is freezing. I'd say that wind chill is about minus five. And it is cold. So it is very cold. So I'm not wasting time sitting outside my tent. 
Let's hit him a tent tonight. Some fucking stuffed up. I want to make a pot noodle and stuff. Try and warm the body up a bit. But, it's freezing. Freezing, freezing, freezing. Still my thermos to put on though. Yeah, all right, you can talk away. All right, guys, so brought you back, but there's not an awful lot going on. As any of you know when you write that dark nights come in and you can't really do much. Um, we'll have fire dogs, but it's better out there and it's then we fire dogs aren't gonna keep us that warm. Our gear's gonna keep them more warm like. But yeah. Gonna make a bite to eat soon. I had a pot noodle earlier and have we um what the hell did I put that in the back? These snacks for the night. Cheese strings. A couple more hot chocolates. Two of these flapjacks, which are delicious. And I have a pasta bolognese wafer I mean, which I haven't had this one, so a bit interesting to see how nice it actually is. But yeah, that should keep me pretty warm the rest of the night. But yeah, there's nothing really going on. I'm probably going to do uh, a video when I'm back at home of my loadout. Like the gear loadout I use for this camp. I was going to do that when I was up here, but by the time I got up, I was freezing. And then by the time I set the tent up, I was like, what the hell, we're just doing another freaking short video in between all this. Just need to get warm. But. I'm bringing you back when I'm making a bite date. Dinner time. It is getting chilly. This is temperatures going down further. You can see see my breath more. I've just been chilling listening to the radio, all cozy in my tent. Just with the door open, talking to the bro, and I don't know how long this is going to take, like, probably take off bloody night. Okay, it's been a while for I've used one of these. So, here's hoping. It's quick. <laughs> through the night I'll bring you back but until then I'll see you in the morning
seeing. I know it was to get windy, but it's it goes about 40, 50 mile an hour. I don't even know what my tent's reading to, so I'm not taking the chance. Hopefully he can hear this and we're gonna try and get off this mountain quick. It's a bit intense to say the least. See shit. Alright guys, thank you for watching that one. That one was different, to say the least. That's not the outcome I was expecting. The weather did give a bit of a storm warning and it didn't I thought the wall were protected us, but it didn't. Not a single bit. And you can probably see in the thumbnail and some of the clips from around the tent, it looked perfectly pitched, but it wasn't. It nothing pegs were struggling to stay in the ground because the ground was so wet and soft and like my tent like one side was just constantly flapping i couldn't get it to stop my brother's tent he didn't even get it pitched properly because he needs quite a bit of surface for that it's the decathlon track and pole tent that's the two man so it's it's quite square and you need quite a lot of foot space for that or footprint you must say it's it wasn't what we expected we expected to have a wee bit of a rough night but not anywhere to that point like as you've seen probably in 
the videos were going up with walkie talkies they're actually a new addition to our setups just because if we're pitched it is a bit blustery instead of us shouting we can just talk across on the walkie talkies which makes it a lot easier and we were talking through it and that's where we just decided right if we don't leave now we're not going to be able to leave at all and something's going to get damaged or we're going to get completely soaked or someone's going to get hurt or so we weren't taking any risks like that but other than that it was really fun to get out in the snow which is a first for both of us and it was nice seeing the mornings all white is another first i've seen them in pictures and stuff but i was never up in them and it'd probably not be the last time i've been in the mornings in the snow it's probably not going to be the last to camp in the snow but just not as high uh, especially i think we've learned from it that stop the we're stopping going out when there's weather warnings in place like this is what a week no I might, yeah it's about a, i think it's a week later and i'm doing this part the outro and there's another storm and it's like it's just a constant this time of the year which is my favorite time of the year to camp because i prefer cold camping my whole setup's designed for it not really it's probably my favorite time just because the cold has so much more elements to it but it is what it is um i just rambling on here i really don't didn't know what to do with the outro because i recorded one in the car but you couldn't see my feet you could hear me and the rain was hammering it down on the car and stuff like that and it just didn't turn out that great and i've never done an outro at home so it was like eh, it's something new i can learn from it but it's it is what it is and hopefully the videos turned out the way i wanted it to it was it had its challenges a video i have to say not even editing it just shooting it like shoes got drenched so i couldn't really get out one pair of my socks was completely drenched i made the blunder of wearing my trail runners not thinking because we weren't supposed to go up we were meant to go to i think we were meant to go down to donny water or something and we didn't bother obviously we've seen the snow we we're like we'll go up and i didn't expect the snow to be that deep so i didn't expect it to affect my trail runners all that much but it did and i learned from it so it boots pretty much any wet weather now unless it's a day hike and i know i'm coming home straight after but camping wise it's boots only like it's, it's, wet feet is not pleasant thankfully i didn't get sick after because normally i could but yeah i'm going to stop rambling on here and thank you for watching that video thank you for staying this part of the video if you've got this far and if you get hit me a wee like and subscribe and share and do all that great stuff but much appreciated thank you